Because the chemistry between you and Michael B. Jordan on that screen. That was you in Creed One, right? In Creed One? I figured, yes, that is me. <laughs> and yes, it's from Creed One. I felt like I couldn't say that one I went cheek. Playing a married couple on film, there's bound to be talk that these two, Michael B. Jordan and Tessa Thompson, may have been caught flirting out in the open or something that could be counted as that. Every day at work, I was like, that's my man. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt that. And I felt that every day. And you felt it every day. I felt day. that support, definitely. It's a team sport and to have like a scene partner and somebody that's gonna challenge you, you know, and yeah. ask the right questions and push you, but also be in that supportive role is something that I definitely needed, especially my first time directing. We have seen that they do have a lot of chemistry on screen, especially with Creed 2. Today we'll be going through and finding some moments between these two and the very flirtatious moments. Some thoughts you don't, you can't talk about, you know? Some thoughts just exist. They're more feelings than thoughts, you know? No, I'm, I'm to proud count of the it. I, I stopped at like 14. I stopped. I was like, just too many. Enough. Too much. But before we get into it, some trivia for you. Michael B. Jordan is most famous for his days on the HBO drama The Wire and Reggie Montgomery on the soap opera All My Children. What does the B stand for in his name? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. He was like, jokingly, Mike on the second one was like, or, or after the first one, we knew we were making the second one. He's like, all right, he's about to get her pregnant. And I remember <laughs> at the time being like, kind of like, I don't know if I want that. First, we have this great moment where Tessa reacted to another image of Michael doing a photo shoot. Can I keep this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't believe, I do, yes. I, it, I, well, I, I'm proud of him and proud of him. I don't objectify him. I never would. He's my... Work, work friend. It's interesting to note that these two were so into their characters that they went to a real couples therapy class to see what it was like and get more into character with their roles for Creed 3. He's my he's my work husband. Right. So we had what is called a chemistry test where they like put you in a room and see what you're like together and we did some improvisation, we did a couple scenes. <laughs> it's so strange though, isn't it? It was like, so like, strange. Here. Michael B. Jordan and Tessa Thompson went to the sessions as their characters Adonis and Bianca. While they were having their sessions as a couple, the actress admitted that they also got to reflect on their personal relationships. You what was it <laughs> what was it like working with, with him as a director? It was incredible. He's so he's so talented. I mean he's been working for such a long time as an actor and I think he takes all of that knowledge of a set and, and really what, what, it, what makes a fantastic director. Since we've been making these movies for nine years, we've seen each other through the various stages in our own romantic things, Thompson said. And it's clear that these two have very good chemistry even offset. Do you know any of the lyrics to Eye of the, Eye of the Tiger off the top of your head? And can you sing the song? Oh. I am the tiger. Yeah, you don't know the word? Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> that's it. Uh, maybe uh, a little punchy. A little punchy. <laughs> With as much time as she has present playing this part during all three films, she still doesn't hesitate to compliment him on his performances. I think my favorite thing about working with Mike is he really is a very kind human. Like, I I'm so proud of him. I think he did such a tremendous job on the on the film and directed something that's not easy to do. There was even some news going around that Tessa Thompson wanted to dress a little bit goth in the film, and Michael didn't really let her. He has a say, of course, as the director, of anything that happens of the film. And he's very specific about clothing, which I didn't know, Thompson explained. It's so interesting. Ryan Coogler was saying this the other day. It's like when you've known somebody for a while, for us, it's going, it's almost a decade, yeah. just under a decade, right? So I've known him for a really long time. We really felt like babies when we, first, when we made the first <laughs> one. Not like, I mean, we were grown. Thompson pointed out to one particular moment when Jordan immediately nixed her goth vision. There was a party scene where I really wanted to wear something. I wanted to wear all black because I'm secretly goth. I never got to be in high school, so now I am, she joked. And he was like, no, you're not going to wear that. We, we kind of instantly got along and, yeah. and felt friendly together. And apparently he, he did look at my butt in that chemistry test. Oh, well, you can't blame it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. And I don't know anything about chemistry, so I don't know why. But apparently it worked. I don't know. But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. It definitely came out. Listen. <laughs>
I already know what his, I think his love languages are. Because you can tell, he comes in a set, he's hugging everybody. Yeah. He's making sure that if, even if he has just a couple seconds, he's saying, how are you, how's your weekend? And going from first meeting to pretending to be soulmates and married is a big step, which I think is one of the reasons that they went to the couple's counseling and really made them open up about things and become closer. Yeah, I don't, I mean, we had a lot of conversations. We even did a, a, an interesting experiment, which is that Mike and I went to therapy together wow. as, as Bianca and Adonis. Wow. The intimacy, I feel mm -hmm. like I'm not married, I don't have kids, but yeah. I have friends that do, and I, I hear what that can do yeah. to intimacy. And, uh, and so we really wanted to talk about those things. Since their first meeting, it has been nine years, and since they have played these characters, their friendship has grown at a steady pace. <laughs> Our friendship is really, like, deep and very special. I think, you know, we didn't know each other before we started playing these these parts. And, you know, it's like the thing where you're like, okay, meet, okay, <laughs> pretend to be in love. We even get to see them a couple years ago, video chatting, promoting the film. Depending on my mood, I see my mustache, that's Creed. <laughs> <laughs> but my jacket. That mustache, is this, is this the mustache, is this the debut of the mustache? It is, I don't know, the OnlyFans account might come pretty soon, I don't know. And even though Michael was technically her boss on set, as he was director, that didn't stray away the chemistry that had already built up over the last nine years. She did open up about what it was like being directed by him, however. To be honest, he didn't offer me a note that like any director would, Thompson explained. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> No, you know what it was? He's like become such a good friend of mine and I love him so much. I was so proud of him. I got to be his proud friend and on set his proud wife. Like He never directed me like that. It was always a conversation about how I felt and how we were feeling. It truly felt very unique in that way. He would have been welcome to, but that wasn't the dynamic, Thompson added. I know yeah. every tell, every oh, little no. false moment, not false moment, you know, when they about to blink, I know it all. I know <laughs> it all, <laughs> yes. I have said this a lot on this run, but what really impressed me was how great he was with the crew. It didn't surprise me because he's a lovely man and is so well liked on set, but he has the kind of energy that lightens a set and makes everybody feel good. I witnessed a new level of sensitivity mm. in him. I've always known that he's sensitive, but I think as he has matured, he's less afraid to show that. Guest starring on a podcast, Tessa spoke more about Michael and his directing role. No, you know what? It actually wasn't. It felt so natural. He was so good at it. And and he felt very seamless. Like, I didn't feel like I lost my scene partner because he was outside of it. In fact, it, it took me like a month and a half to realize how he was calling cut. He would make this little, like, scissor sign. A lot of people have said that these two act like a real-life couple or have been caught acting very flirtatious, especially during the red carpet premiere. Tessa loved Michael's directing ability so much that she developed some inspiration of her own. When Michael signed on to make his featured directorial debut with a third film in the successful franchise, the actor turned director already had one major supporter in his corner, longtime co-star Tessa Thompson. Which of your castmates loves a cheeky Nando's? Uh, Mike. No? Potentially. Potentially. Who knows? Because I think arguably a lot of people do. Yeah, but yeah, I've yeah. got Tony Bellew here. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. But I feel like Mike would also love a cheeky Nando. Yeah. So. Her admiration for his directing style just might hint at what she hopes to bring behind the camera, as she readies to add director to her resume as well. My first impression of him was that he was such like a lovely boy. <laughs> 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 like he says himself, he's like, God, I was such a baby on the first one. We were looking at like pictures in the first one and he really has matured a lot. Thompson was extremely inspired by Jordan's ability to direct, act, and make everyone around him feel appreciated. I've, I felt so incredibly proud of him. I think, you know, he's been working for such a long time and he's learned so much about filmmaking through the process of acting. And so to get to see him channel that into this new chapter was really amazing. We have talked about the future of the franchise and Michael B. Jordan has said he was open to doing many more films and even spin-offs of this series. So we will just have to keep our eyes peeled for any news regarding these potential happenings. Thing you've built. Sounds like something me. my wife would say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. We're going with Bianca. 
Bianca. We're going Bianca Creed. Don't I say that in one of the trailers? The trailer line. Creed like that's right. Yeah, yeah. Creed 3. Creed 3. As far as the answer to our trivia question, the B in Michael's name stands for Bakari, which means of noble promise in Swahili. Tessa even elaborates on her friendship with Michael. And what I really admire about their relationship is they have a kind of love that at its best feels really selfless. So what do you guys think about all these moments and what did you think about the third installment of this film? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. You and I always say this. We said we just we said this morning. We got this. I think we said it just now. I think we just I think we, we never stopped saying that. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this.